Even with everything that's going on, it seems like this school year went by really quickly. It's back to school time yet again. Let's talk about these Bitmoji classrooms that are so popular right now. The coronavirus or COVID-19 has really changed the shape of the world, particularly the way students receive education. And if you're like me, you had to start teaching remotely in March. Let's see how things will change this year. As schools begin to open, many of the school districts across the United States decided to continue with distance learning for the beginning of the school year. For some districts, it's the first quarter. For others, it's the entire first semester. Online learning is a new experience for many teachers and students. Though we're quite familiar with the internet and accessing things online, learning and receiving our education online is a foreign concept for many people. So in order to make students feel comfortable and welcome, many teachers are creating these gorgeous Bitmoji classrooms. So today we're going to go over a quick way to create a Bitmoji classroom in Canva. Let's get started. Creation. I am using Canva because I prefer Canva, Canva over Google Slides. I just haven't mastered Google Slides yet. Even though I'm a whiz at PowerPoint, Google Slides just not my friend. So I am going to just start with creating a new page since this document is already open. You would just do a new presentation if you are starting from the beginning. So I'll just add a new page here. And so we have a blank page and I, that's the classroom base that I use. If you don't want to use that, just click it away and we'll go over to photos. Now this is the part that had me a little confused. I'm like, how are they creating that? I thought it was some Photoshop magic and I just, uh, -uh I don't do Photoshop. So I saw a video and they put in floor and wall. So if you're like me and you thought it was Photoshop magic, it is not. It is floor and wall. And I'm going to pick this one because that's what a lot of people had and I guess it may be kind of fun to create unless you guys want this one. Hmm. <laughs> Choices. Let's try this one. Something new. If you drag it over, it will populate. If you click it, then you have to play around with it. And I just did not want to do that. So then you can start with putting your things in. Do you want a blackboard? Of course we do. So we'll go over to elements. I think I do a lot better in elements than photos because then you'll have the pictures without the background that's transparent and you don't have to go to remove background and do all those other things. So let's put in chalkboard or whiteboard. Let's be up to date and put in whiteboard. You know, I am an older teacher if I am saying chalkboard. Uh, then you can scroll through these to see if there's one that you'd like. There's really not one here that I like, so I'm going back to chalkboard. You can put in whatever you want. So I'll put in chalkboard. There we go. You can get the green. You can have this eagle like I had on the other one. You can have vertical. Or horizontal let's just go with this vertical horizontal one is there a black horizontal one I thought it was one down here hmm I'll go with this one yeah. there we go oh it matches how cute is that all right so then you can drag the edges to make it as large or small as you want I am going to put it about here 
I'm going to make it a little bigger to fill up some space. Let's see, what else do we need in our room? You go back over here to the search and bookshelf. And you'll see that I've used this before because they're already populated. I'll pick a different bookshelf than before. I'll pick this one, honey, because we need cabinets. You know, cabinets are so necessary in a classroom. It's already decorated for me, not a problem. So if you wanted to add clickable links inside of Google Classroom, this is where you can add a clear text box, put the hyperlink there, and you can put click here so the kids can click. That will be another video. What else do we want in our room? I am a plant girl, and I always have plants in my classroom. And that's another job that the kids can have. So I'll put plant. Let's see, this little orange number here. Click it. Where did it go? There it is. Do I want them on the floor? Do I want them on the floor? Do I want it up there? Hmm. Hmm. Let's put it here. Let's pretend it's out of the way over here. So there's one plant. Of course, I'm going to have another plant. And I'm going to scoot it down so it's not as big. Here we are, and it's hanging down just there. Let's see. What else do we need? We need a teacher, of course. We're going to put her in there in just a minute. I think I'm going to go back and put that easel, like I had in the first one. Kind of easy. If you want to put this, <laughs> old school teachers know what this is. You let this screen up and down, and if you still have that in your school, God bless you. But we'll just do the little easel. So you put the easel, we can put the easel over here and place it. Now you see how it's in front of the flower now? You can leave it like that, or you can go on position and you can move it backwards and pretend that it's somewhere over there in your room. Now, Let's see, we need a clock, right? So let's click on clock. Which clock do you want? I guess I could have put wall clock. You can put that if you want. Let's add a pop of color, red. It's not gonna be that big, or it could be that big if you want an Ikea room. And remember, this is an Esau room, so we need lots of visuals. If you didn't want to use up that space, you can use that space for your charts or whatever. And I'll show you how to make your different charts. Let's, we need to get a teacher in here. She needs to be in here. Now you can co connect your Bitmoji account by going to more, click on Bitmoji, bam, there, your Bitmojis. And here I am. Let's see, this is really how I'm feeling running away from all of this paperwork. <laughs> you know, that's how we feel at the beginning of the year, really all year long, but we're not gonna put her there. Let's see. Hum, 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 hum. If you wanted to make a fun, uh, a fun front page, and you wanted to talk about writing or let the kids know that it's about writing, you could put that this little person or whatever bitmojis you have there you can put there now here's how you can make your charts go over to elements click out of there then you have these basic ones and you can click here and it will be the colors of the main colors in your uh, slide you can change it if you want and then you can place it here you can go up to color you can make it any color that you want and that's have to make it. let's make it red goes with the clock and then if you wanted to add text you click on text click on add a heading and let's say you want to say welcome 
type in welcome and say, oh, that's boring. And you go to your font. And the great thing about Canva is that you can load different fonts. They have a lot there. They also have the pro version. These are like pro fonts. And I'll put a link down below if you want to try out Pro Canva. Um, you can change the color, drag it to make it bigger, or you can you go up there and change that. Welcome. And then whatever else you want to put there. If you want to put a picture um, and let them know, welcome to Esau. I don't know why I always like to use a globe with Esau, but I do. Slider over, and there you go. Pretty simple and straightforward in Canva. I don't have to do a whole lot of right clicking and searching too much through Google. Well, the Google is built into the Google Slides, but I do prefer Canva. I may try to do a video on Google Slides, even though Google Slides is not my friend. Now, if you wanted to animate this, you can click on animate. You can change the different effects and you can put a filter on it if you like. But here is just a quick and easy way to make a Bitmoji classroom for your Google Slides. Wishing all of you a great year. Stay tuned. I have some teacher gear just for you.